right behind me, right where I step, because those little eggs are like the size of your in a digit. They're so camouflaged, they're like beautiful orbs made by nature that blend into the sand. So we'll have to be really close. This is Dave Renchi, wildlife biologist with East Bay Regional Park District. We're at the Hayward Regional Shoreline, home of Turntown, uh, the recovery site for our imperiled California lease turn. Uh, Dr. Quack became involved in the lease turn colony in May of 2001 when it became a district uh, project to actually establish a colony there. And, it, and between the years of 2001 and 2004, uh, almost 2,800 volunteers participated in building that island, moving 165 tons of sand and oyster shells onto the island. And then we put decoys out there. We had uh, community service projects with youth, painting decoys, putting them out, pulling weeds. And then in 2005, we put the sound system. So almost 10 years now of turn stuff. And we're after the sound of the turn. They were listed on the endangered species in 1972. Uh, three big reasons, habitat loss, uh, environmental contaminants and non-native predators and the district is dealing with that those issues f to enhance other species like the clapper rail, the salt marsh harvest mouse so it's really a multiple species approach and the least turn and the western snowy plover benefit from the district's good efforts and ultimately the goal is to have these birds recovery and get off the endangered species li list. The island provides them with additional habitat, additional place where they can find their food, water, shelter, and space, additional places for them to nest because there's just not suitable nesting habitat in the areas anymore. Our wildlife services specialist from the U.S. Department of Agriculture who we hire on contract to protect the endangered least turns and western snowy plovers is going to be on site when we go on the island to prevent gulls from uh, depredating, that means eat little least turn or plover chicks. Look at this, 21, average of seven, nine, it kind of went down. Last week we had 8.8 .8 predators per hour. Mm -hmm. That's pretty bad. And then I heard one of them was like over uh, 150 predators during a period of time. Yeah. Something like that, I don't know. It was incredible. All right. So just those, now, uh, nest with chicks, hold on that we don't can't lose our valuable data. I will put this in here. Ones back here are hard to see. Yeah. 20, 33. Uh, there we go. There he is, by the oyster shell. There's one of them. Oh, I see. See him by the oyster shell? Yeah. Oh, I see two. They're both right there. Oh, yeah, behind the other one. 13 eggs. Okay, total. Are you ready? Yeah. 91 eggs. Oh, wow. 91, yeah. That's good. That's great. We'll, we'll bust it. We'll break 100. I know we can. We got faith in you, Turn, so you can do it. Okay, we should get out of here and let them get back to the domestic affairs of being a least turn. Okay. I mean, each of these these birds are a marvelous work of nature. Uh, they weigh several ounces and they fly from you know, the San Francisco Bay all the way down to Baja, California every year and come back here to breed. So they're you know, spanning two continents. So it's, it, it sort of puts a um, tingle up your spine and it's really exciting to be working on um, species like the least turn is western snowy plover, which are endangered and threatened. And, and, you know, doing something positive to to uh, keep them on the planet. You know, we want to keep a foothold for those birds in the Bay Area. We'd like our, our children and our grandchildren not to have to to say, oh, we've got all these endangered species. It'd be nice to say that, you know, look into the eyes of our children and our children's children and say, we did something and, and we helped to recover these animals. Because each of them is a, a, a work of beauty, each of them is unique to the environment, each of them um, is a legacy that, that we want to cherish and pass on.